there may be one or two of you among yourself. You came into this camp, not that you wanted it. You were protesting against it. Vedanta. Some Indian Shami coming in on it. All Shamis are terrible. I don't mind spirituality. I'm a materialist. I'm a secular man. I don't want spirituality. He was protesting. Then why did you come? What can I do, Samaji? My mother wants to come. Therefore I brought. Thus you came into the hall, compelled by other pressures upon you, never wanted to hear it at all. And yet, when you started listening, you start as it were remembering. Yay! This is what the Swami is talking, I have thought of it. It is not anything new. It is something like thing. Thus, by the practice of the past, whatever that you had learned, Purvabhyasena, by the abhyas practice in the past, Steneva, by those very same subtle, silent uh, tendencies in you, Kriyate, you are pulled. Our show, Visaha. And you, you are so surprised. How am I getting interested in it? Why am I getting interested in it? All these years I never wanted it. Now I am feeling a terrible fascination. I think that Swami is doing hypnotism. <laughs> I am one of those who thought that. My guru has been hypnotizing me. Because I am feeling a terrible fascination for it. I did not go to the spirituality, thinking that no religion and spirituality. I went there to know how does these Mahatmas keep this bluff among the public. I was an atheist at that time. So that I can write an article on it and publish it in the papers. I went there as a saboteur. But when I started reading literature, listening to them, think I get fascinated by it. When I thus felt fascinated, and one night I started thinking in terms of taking sannyas, I said, there is a limit. I must get out of this place. Because this man, maybe some power in him, he is hypnotizing me. So I ran away to Badrinath. Stayed there 30, 40 days. Why? To decide. I was fighting against. But my mind is saying, let us take sannyasa, or else you will go back again into the world, tie yourself down here, because once you take this cloth, it is for meant for all times to come, and therefore tie yourself down. This is a wonderful life. And the other part of the mind says, you know, what a fool you are, why are you going to that fellow is now tying you psychologically, he has made you a fool. You are because my past thoughts were of sensuality or of materialism. All of a sudden, this fascination comes. You are helpless. Kriyate, you are pulled by some force in you towards this path. Why? This is what you have practiced in the past. 